Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Tuesday, guys. I have a Dollar Tree haul, not a huge haul. Um, but yeah, I did get out to the Dollar Tree. Been a busy, busy week, like it's always. <laughs> I give up. I've been trying to get Christ Christmas presents wrapped, trying to get this room organized because I drug out everything my wrapping paper, my ribbons, my boxes, and bags, and this room is just awful but it's getting better so I do have some DIY set up here that I want to get made um, so hopefully that'll get done some of them this week too I hope because you know what these holidays are coming up quick anyway let me spin you over here so I can show you what I got from the Dollar Tree all right yeah I don't know why this thing's so squeaky anymore but anyway I'll show you the goodies we picked up I always like to show those first case anybody you know is looking for something like this stuff and, you know, I never knew they used to have all this. I never, let me speak English. I never knew they had all this stuff either at Dollar Tree because I used to just go in for like crafting supplies, holiday things. And by the time I was done with that, I didn't even bother going to the food section. But since my husband's been going with me, he loves this. That's his favorite section. So anyway, he picked up a pack of these. Um, these are butterscotch. These are 90 calories. He really likes these. I'm... I don't I like the chocolate ones. I can eat those, but that's about it. So he got those. He got two more of his V8s that he always get. I'm going to try to go through these quick because some of this is the same stuff that he gets like every other week or that I get every other week. Um, got another can of the Libby's sliced peaches and heavy syrup. He really likes these. Um, he did not like that one brand. I think it was the Pamper brand of the peaches. He just said they, they were not good in his opinion. So, he got the Libby's. And then we got some more of the Sprecher's sodas. We got the grape this time. Um, these are in the nice glass bottles. I think that's why they're so good because I think any soda that's in a glass bottle is just so much better than anything else. So we've got a grape and a cream soda this time. So there you go. Yeah, these are really good. Um, and I'll, like I said, I'm not a big soda fan, but I will have one of these during the week. So we usually just get two, it's, you know, not bad. I did pick up, well, actually, I tried to pick up two more of these. And as we were checking out, one of the lid on one of them was loose, and there was um, potato flakes coming out. But, and I didn't feel like running back to get another one, so I'll get some more the next time I go. I love these. I just tried these last week for the first time. Um, like I said, my husband does not like mashed potatoes, so I'll usually, usually make for him, like, maybe some of the broccoli cheddar or broccoli and cheese noodles and things, you know, that come in the bag, the Nors, um, for a side or something. And then I'll just make these for myself because I love mashed potatoes. I don't care where they come from, <laughs> if they're instant, if they're regular. I just love mashed potatoes. So I actually had one of these last night. So I'm going to have to get some more of those. I was very sad the one was leaking, but like I said, I was done in there. I don't... We could have ran back to get another one, but it was like, eh, I'll just get another one next time. Um... We got another bag of these. These are the Wise Ridges Original Chips. These are the real, these, they're a lot thicker and much more crispy than um, some of the other chips out there. So he got it, I think he got two bags of these. Yes, actually, I do remember putting one up on the fridge. So, and he'll go through one of those, you know, watching football or something, whatnot. Um, I picked up two of these. These are the Lindor uh, Milk Chocolate. Uh, truffles just for Christmas gifts. Now these were in the plus section. Now the other ones I thought I got a really good deal on with the um, orange, little orange ball candies. Um, and what was the other one? Oh, the Ferrero Rocher. I got a good deal on those. They were actually cheaper than Walmart. This is actually 48 cents cheaper at Walmart. So I didn't get a good deal on these, but I, I can't remember what everything costs everywhere. And I was there and I figured, well, I'm just going to grab two of these because, you know, I like to give these out at Christmas time too. So anyway, these, as far as these go, better deal at Walmart. But eh, whatever. I should have looked it up on while I was at the store, but yeah, I can't do all that stuff. <laughs> and I'll never get to Walmart. I don't get there very often because I just, I'm not my favorite store. Um, I got some of this disinfectant spray. He likes to take these to work with him. I don't care for the smell of these. They're not bad. It says um, linen scent. It has a little picture, little cotton things here. 
kills 99.9% .9 of germs. So he'll stick this in his bag to take to work and he likes when he goes in the office there just to spray everything down from everybody that's been in there all week. And uh, that's what he does. So this he picked up. Um, it says kills flu viruses. Yeah, I don't know. It just kills stuff. <laughs> it's an eliminator. All right, enough of that. Um, got another pack of two bars of the Coast Soap. I just love this stuff. I think this stuff lathers up so nice. Um, I also used to always use, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? I don't know. <laughs> I just went blank. But anyway, my favorite soap. By, ah, Lever 2000. I used to really like that soap, but then they changed it somehow. Um, and it doesn't really lather up that good in, like it used to. I used to love that soap. I used it all the time. So now I'm back to using Coast because it's just more lathery. All right. I think that's all that kind of stuff I have. I picked up some Christmas things here. Uh, my husband actually spotted these. They had a cart full that they hadn't put on the shelf yet of these really pretty boxes. Um, these are $1.25. They have it, you know, in a couple different sizes. But I always grab the biggest one because I figure, yeah, no, that's the best deal for your money. And the inside's a nice color too. So these are great. I might even try to stick these little Lindor truffles in there. Um, so I got the red one. I got the gold one. Very, very pretty. And the insides are done, you know, they're done the same color. So that makes it really nice, too, when you're giving a gift. Because it's not just that plain old cardboard on the inside. Let me get rid of this bag. And then I got a silver one. And I like it because they're all done with the bows and everything. You just take a couple pieces of tape on there. You're done. That's my favorite kind of thing anymore. Gift bags and boxes that are already decorated that I can don't have to wrap. All right. I did pick up two more Christmas trees because you guys know I cut these up and use these for all kinds of DIY projects. And like I said, I'm a little sad because I think the branches are much thinner this year than they used to be. I'll have to find one of my old ones. But yeah, they're just not as full like they used to be. But yeah, that's just about how everything goes anymore. <laughs> but not a bad deal for $1.25. So I will just cut these up and use these like in little centerpieces or whatever. I have actually used these as a little Christmas tree, but I think I took three of them and zip tied them together to make a much fuller tree. I had out my kish one year. I don't know what I ever did with that. Because uh, I stopped doing that once we had our birds out there and stuff because I was afraid they were going to get into the wires or something. But we don't let them out in the kitchen anymore. We learned our lesson with those guys out there getting in trouble. Um, I picked up some gift boxes, these little ones here that come in a pack. These are really nice, and I like the, the pictures on them. And you get five of them for $1.25. I'm going to open this up here. So they were all the same. I didn't see any different um, prints or patterns for these. These are the only ones I saw. But I'm sure there's probably others that I didn't see somewhere else at a different store, maybe. I don't know but I thought these are really nice. That's the one there. And then you get a, you know, it comes with, a, I'll put one together, the Santa. And then there is Winter Wishes. And I didn't even say what size these were. Merry Christmas. And then the Joy to the World. What do I do with the paper? I just chucked it away here. Um, they're five inches by five inches by two inches. So they're not real, you know, enormous boxes by any means. But these are perfect for a little gift. And they just pop open like so, and there you go. You got yourself a... It's much easier when there's something in there. I'm going to just want to pop one together. There we go. Nice little gift box. These are my favorites. Like I said, a couple pieces of tape. You're done. You're done with it all. Okay, what else do we have here Christmas? See, I picked up some of their napkins. I haven't seen these before. Um, these are really nice. I think you could use these for some decoupage projects and stuff too. I don't know if I'll get to that. Like I said, I may pop up some Christmas videos all year long because I just cannot get to anything this year between my appointments, my husband's appointments, and um, get, it's just, it's crazy anymore. And then I try to get to the Dollar Tree and then once I'm done there, I'm pretty much done for the day. 
<laughs> but I thought this one was real nice too. These are the um, uh, one that they're the luncheon size. Doesn't say that on here, but or does it? No. Um, they're 9.84, 9.84, two ply napkins. So yeah, real cute. Real cute for Christmas time too. I'm always thinking decoupage, but I probably will take a few out of here and keep them and then use the rest for on the table. I picked up this gift bag I thought was really cute. Uh, it says Mrs. Claus Bakery, North Pole's Finest, Fresh Baked Goodies Daily. So I thought that was cute. I liked it. It's like pink and silver. A little bit of green in there. A little bit of shiny green. So I thought that was real nice. And then I like now that I'm glad that they did this on these tags and not slapped a dollar twenty-five on them. I gotta sit and peel off. But these just come right off. So that's good. And then there's your nice big tag you can use. But I need to put that over there with the rest of my bags. Trying to keep organized here. Not doing good, but it's getting there. And I did pick up one of these for the kids. I thought this was nice. Um, this is called Snoopy's um, Candy Fun Book with Lollipops. You get 10 lollipops in there. And that opens it up. And it has all kinds of little activity things to do. So I thought that was a cute little gift. And I don't want to open this up because I'm sure it's just the lollipops. And it says it has blue, raspberry, cherry, and green apple. And it has like the little figures on the lollipops. So how cute is that? Oh, it also has a sticker sheet in there. All right. Oh, that's for on here maybe? I don't know. Or just for whatever you want to use it for. Um, I may pick up a couple more of these. That's really cute. I didn't even realize it was stickers and stuff in there, too. But yeah, how fun is that? Christmas crossword. Must be more stuff on the inside because there's nothing here to <laughs> do a crossword, so it has to be on the inside. Anyway, if I pick up a couple more of these, maybe I'll open one up and let you know what's on the inside. And I picked up these books. I thought these would be really cute to stick in one of the kids' baskets. Baskets. I'm already on Easter. I'll gift baskets. But when I set it in my brain, I'm picturing Easter basket. Um, these are discovery books. And this one is Get to Know Penguins. And it has all the cute little pictures and information. And tells you everything about penguins. My one grandson loves penguins. So that's cute. And then there's one here, Get to Know Gorillas. Same thing. has all the pictures in here and all your info about different things so you know they're cute and you also learn something i'll probably learn something my radius <laughs> but yeah i thought those were really nice and then this one is dolphins i love dolphins i think that's my favorite animal besides well dogs cats dolphins <laughs> parrots come after dolphins i think sorry guys but i love dolphins we went to florida um couple times that we went to Discovery Cove and swam with the dolphins. It's just, what a great day it was there. It's so relaxing. But anyway, um, there's some more pictures and all your info and stuff. Ooh, there's a whale and there's all kinds of things in here, not just the dolphins. But yeah, nice little books. So there you go. Also, nice little gift. If you're trying to like make up gift baskets and stuff, these little things are just great to stick in there. Stick that in there with some of your lollipops and there you go. What else do we get Christmassy? I'm trying to get through all the Christmassy. All right. I picked up some of these window stickers. I figured you don't have to use these on windows. You can use these on gifts. You can use these on cards if you make cards. Um, definitely does not have to be stuck onto a window. You can use these on pretty much any craft you're doing. Um, you can make it like pretty little gift tags or something. I love this one. Um, uh, what are they? Oh, it just says 5 inches by 18 inches. But they all come out separately. So I love this one. With the um, pine and the trees. This one's more, more country-ish or whatever you want to call it. Rustic. Uh, it's not really rustic. More farmhouse-ish. There you go. Farmhouse-ish. New word for the day. And then there was this one here too. I thought it was real cute. 
Yeah, you can use these on anything. Stick them on a gift. Stick them anywhere. On a card, on your envelope. I mean, not if you're mailing it, because that's a pain in the neck. But uh, if you make cards to go along with your gifts and things, these would be perfect to stick on there. I love them. All right. Moving on here. I did pick up another one of these. I think I have some of these. But I don't know if I have any this size of these um, tech art. They're just calling this a wood hanging decor. But yeah. Love these little things to make different things. You can use these for a base to set things on. Um, but I like that this one has a hanger on to it. So I'm not sure what I'm doing with this guy yet. But I figured... I'm going to pick one up because I have not seen this size, I don't think. I have the smaller ones, um, you know, that look like a little palette, but I don't, I don't think I have this size. So I grabbed one of those. And what else did we grab here? Oh, I got some more of these little bags. Now let me get these out of here because this paper is really noisy. These are the little um, garbage bags that I use for my little chihuahua because she has her little... Uh, let me get that out of here. That's really noisy. Um, she needs them in the house because, you know, she can't always hold it until we're ready to go outside or whatever. But there's just these little teeny weeny four gallon bags. And that's how they rip off right here. And they smell good. Um, this one's supposed to be lavender. I don't smell lavender. It kind of smells like pepper, if you ask me. Well, yeah, a little bit. But you get 40 of them in here, and they last me a long time. Because she doesn't, you know, go in the house all the time. But she has her little poopy pads around, and that's just the perfect size to stick her little pads and things into. And they also come with all your little um, twisty ties. And these things I always save. Because I never know what I'm going to need them for. <laughs> but yeah, I usually use a lot of these at Christmas time to hook things up and whatnot. I picked up this little stapler. I thought this was just so darn cute. I hope I didn't show this already because when I put my stuff up here, it was on the floor and I couldn't remember because my brain is just not great. But if I did, I apologize, but I don't think I did. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that this was in today's bag, but you know, I don't know. I've been shuffling things around here, but anyway, you get 500 staples. Um, it's your standard size, it says, and it's just this little bitty staple. They had them in different colors, but I got the purple one because I just thought that I'm going to keep this right here on my desk. I have a bigger one than I have, but like when I'm doing cards and stuff and I just want to staple a little something, this would be perfect. It would just not be in the way. Look at that. It's just regular size staples go in here too, which I was really surprised. I figured it was going to be some weird size and then I would have to kind of try to figure out where to get them from. So let's try this baby out because, ah! no, come on hands, get it in there. Um, why is it not going in? What am I doing wrong? Let's see, maybe there's too many. No, that should fit right in there. Oh, let me pop this up. Hmm. Well, I'm going to break that because I just can't get it all in there. So, a whole thing. I had a hard time there. Well, you know what? Oh, there it goes. Okay. I was going to be very sad if this little thing didn't work because I think it's really, really cute. I need a piece of paper. Here's a piece of paper. That's just what I had the things on. So, let's test this guy out here. See if I... Made a good purchase. Oh yeah, works wonderfully. Yep, okay, there you go. It's absolutely worth it. They work perfect and look how tiny. <laughs> I absolutely love this thing, but I wanted to make sure it worked before I tell you guys, you know, how cute, wonderful it is. And then you go buy them and they don't work. I hate that, but these work. It's just these are a little bit too big to go in there. You can't put the whole um, row of staples in there, but that's fine. That's going to be great. This, I mean, look how much room that takes up, like nothing. All right. And then the other thing that I picked up is this little pen here. I found this um, 
in the health and beauty section. It's the Be Pure brand. I can't hardly read this. Lemon scented hand sand. My voice is still stupid since I was sick. Lemon scented hand sanitizer spray. I mean, how cute is that? And it's just, you know, little pen and, ooh, it sprays quite a bit. And it actually, actually has a nice lemon scent to it. But I figured this would be great in my purse instead of, I do have the one that hangs on the side of my purse, but this is much more convenient. But that's it, that's what I picked up this time. Um, I'm going to clean this all up here and go grab little P, and I will be right back. All right, here's little P. Yeah, he was not thrilled coming in this room today because I have all these different Christmas presents on the floor that are wrapped. Here you go. Oh, he was excited about his peanut. I really didn't think he would take it with all this stuff in here. Huh. Oh, my goodness. Look, you didn't even split it in half. That's an ugly peanut. Is that a good one or no? It's kind of like too brown. I don't know if you'll eat that. You like it cooked like that? Yeah? Alright, you're surprising me all the way around today. We've been getting like gusts of wind too. Um, it's a little breezy out, but every once in a while there's this really big gust of wind today. Yeah, that's another thing freaks these guys out. Because there's still leaves coming off the trees. Um... Most of them are off now, but, you know, when that gust picks up, they all start flying, and these guys freak out when they go past the windows, huh? Yeah, it's crazy windy out there today, P. No, I'm sorry, you're not done. You don't like this one, do you? No? Are you still chewing? I'm so sorry. I'm trying to think of anything exciting with you this weekend, was there? Not really. You're a pretty good boy, huh? Pretty good. Isn't it yummy? P had a birthday on Saturday. I forgot to tell everybody it was your birthday on Saturday. Tell everybody, say, I'm eight years old. Yeah. Are you eight years old? Yes, you are. You're just a young baby yet, huh? Yeah. These guys can live up to around 30 years, so. He's just a baby yet, aren't you? Yeah, it's just a baby. <laughs> That's a really good one, huh? You're squinting your eyes and everything eating that one. Eat that one. You're actually eating a lot of that one. I can't see through the shells though, piece. So I don't know which ones are cooked like that and which ones aren't. This one's like really roasted. You like that, huh? Alright. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You're so silly. You're good. Clean your beak. One more piece I have here. Yeah, there's not even that much peanut dust here today. Or chips, whatever you want to call it. You pretty much ate all of them. All of it. Yeah, it's a good one. Try to find you a bag of extra roasted peanuts. Oh, I was just looking at the shell. I mean, it doesn't look any different than the other ones. Sorry. Didn't mean to bother you while you're eating your peanut. <laughs> you like a nice peanut treat? Yeah. Pretty much only get some now when we come in here for... Or hauls. Yeah, because it's a kind of fatty food, isn't it? 
You didn't care, do you? So I don't care. <laughs> no, it's not good for you to have too many. Well, that was a good one. It's all gone. Oh, there's a piece. Why are you? I'm trying to help you, and you're yelling at me. <laughs> you're such a brat boy. You're such a spoiled brat boy. Yes, you are. Everybody loves little Pete. He's the only parrot I have that everybody can pretty much pick him up, walk around with him, play with him, pet him. Huh. You're just a people person, which is funny because a lot of them are not. I've seen a lot, like in the bird groups that I'm in, a lot of them are just really nasty. Yeah. You're not nasty. You crabby. But you're not nasty. I mean, to the point where they fly across and attack people and stuff. I not my old pay, huh? They give you a bad rap. Huh? There's nothing in there, but you can rip that apart. Got another one here you can do. You're a good boy, huh? Are you a good boy here? You want to rip that one up? I know there's nothing in there, but I thought maybe you just want to shred it. What do you want? You want to go? No, I didn't think so. He didn't know what you want. You just want pets, huh? Say, so just pet me, woman. I'll pet you and you fix your feathers. All right. What? <laughs> it's so funny. He'll lick my finger and stuff and it's so weird because birds don't really have like saliva so it's his tongue is like dry it's just weird feeling huh yeah you like to lick but that's just weird are you thirsty now that you finished your peanut should we go out and get a drink i know i heard that too that was just the wind it's all right walk you past all these presents and things I know, there's always something different in here to make you nervous. Mm-hmm. You grooming your cute little toes. It's a lot of work keeping them feathers all in order. <laughs> He's so cute. Are you going to fix all your feathers? Does it? No. Not yet. It's so cute how they just kind of like grab the, each individual feather down by the, the base of it and then they just kind of work their little tongues up it to get them all straightened out. And I, uh, you want to get pet while you do that, don't you? All right, I'm not doing anything. I'm doing what you asked me to do here, sir. What? Well, what do you want me to do? All right, I'll just watch you fix your pretty feather. Ooh, look at that big pin feather under there. Get a nice new feather. All right, people. Here, this could go on for like an hour <laughs> of him grooming all of his feathers. That's why they're always so pretty, huh? Because you always... I know you don't want me to pick you up, though. You just want me to... I don't know what. I don't know what you want me to do. Is that it? Alright. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a pin feather there. He gets mad when you hit them, too, because they're like little sticks that grow out with the new feather inside. It looks like a little clear plastic tube wrapped around the feather. And then once that comes off, pretty feather. All right. Well, let's let everybody go here, P. Well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this haul and little P. And I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone. Say bye-bye, P.